Namaste everyone. Thank you for joining me in today's practice. My name is Beth. For those of you that are new, welcome. Let's come on to our mat. This will be an hour of backbend power yoga class. Now, if you like any prop, please have them handy. And we start now to find our seat. Allow your right leg to be in front and allow your left leg to come to easy pose. You can sit on a block or a bolster and allow your hands to come in front of the heart center. And allow your chin to bow towards your heart to set an intention. Noticing your breath, noticing your shoulder. Come with an open mind. Noticing each outgoing breath. Noticing inward breath. Allowing yourself to go within. Breathe in and breathe out. you're ready open your eyes inhale reach the hands all the way up finding that length from the side body drawing your tailbone down to the mat open the heart exhale we twist to the right spinal twist opening the shoulder drawing the belly in feeling your length inhale bring the gaze forward hands reach up Exhale over to the left side, right hand over to the left knee, drawing the shoulder away from the hip. Inhale, bring your gaze forward, hands reach up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Now, slowly, mindfully, bring the left leg in front of the right. Sit nice and tall. Adjust to really remove any extra flesh underneath the sitting bone. Hands reach up, find that length. We twist to the left. Allowing your shoulder once again to come down. Breathe in and out. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Hands reach up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Finding your facial muscles, relaxing. Bring your gaze forward, hands reach up. Exhale, bring yourself back and down into all fours. The beautiful thing about back bend is it allows us to tone the back muscles and also relieve back pain. So this is a movement that you can do in the morning or in the evening. Cats and cow, inhale, look up. Exhale round, look towards the navel round the back body. Inhale, look up. Exhale round. Three more times. Inhale, look up. Exhale round. Inhale, look up. Exhale round. Once more. Inhale, look up. Exhale round. Inhale, come into neutral spine. Finding your breath. Take the right leg back. Open that right foot. Bend the right leg. Notice your breath. But more especially, notice your back body. Flexing that right leg. We're going to inhale the left hand all the way forward. Noticing as you lift the left hand, noticing the strength in your back leg. But also open through the heart center. Exhale, we're going to reach and catch the left right ankle. Push into that left hand and start to lift. Pull the belly in. 
Continue to flex through that right leg. Don't force anything. Just allow your right hand, thumb and index finger to push into the mat. Inhale, straighten the right leg and the left hand. Breathe into the back body. Exhale, elbow to knee, rounding neck. Inhale, extend, lift as high as you can. Bend the right leg. Catch the ankle of the right leg. Flex that right toes, toes pointing. Then inhale, lift. Push into that right thumb and index finger. Notice your body and notice your breath. Inhale, extend the left hand and the right foot. Exhale, elbow round to meet with the knee. Inhale, extend. Now find that breath, exhale. Inhale, lift, almost like you're in a Superman. Then bend the right leg and catch. Notice if there's any open. Flex the right leg and then left. Notice your right hand and notice your shoulder. Breathe in and out. Find that length on the back of that leg. Inhale, extend. Lengthen. Exhale, draw elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, the left hand down. Bring the right knee down. Cats and cow, inhale, look up. Exhale, round in here. Relax the facial muscles. Breathe in, top of the legs on the mat. Inhale, drop the belly and look up. Exhale, round, push the mat away. Draw the shoulder away from the ears. Inhale, release back. Drop the belly, lift the sternum, look up. Exhale, round, push into those hands and feel your back muscles. Relax the head, separate the shoulders away from the ears and come into neutral spine. Extend the right, the left leg back this time. Keep your thumb and index finger on the mat, hands underneath your shoulder. Bend the left leg, flex that left foot. Inhale, take the right hand forward. Take a big breath in, reach the right hand back, catch the left ankle. Make contact, you don't have to go any farther. If you're farther to go, start to kick. Lift from the midline. Draw the right shoulder down, lift the sternum. Push into that left hand, breathe in. Exhale, release the left foot back, right hand forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bring the elbow to the knee, round in the back. Feel your back muscles. Inhale, extend. Like a superman, lift the right hand, lift the left leg, bend the left leg. Exhale, catch the ankle. Then inhale, lift a little bit higher. Breathe in. You can look up to the right shoulder or you can continue to gaze forward. Your breath, your shoulder, noticing where you're holding tension. Extend the left leg and the right hand. Lengthen the spine, pull the belly in. Thumb and index finger on the mat. Exhale, hug the elbow to meet with the knee. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Like a superman lift, bend the left leg, right hand reach back. Catch, flex that left toes, inhale, lift. Breathe into it and breathe out. Noticing your shoulder, noticing your facial muscles. Find that length on the back of that left leg. Then inhale, lengthen. Find the exhalation as you bring the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right hand underneath the right shoulder. Left knee on the mat. Inhale, look up. Cat and cow. Exhale, push the mat and round. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift the chest. 
Exhale, round. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Tuck the toes under, finding your breath, push into those hands, lift the knee, finding your back body. So the key thing about working on the back muscles is to also keep the core engaged. Exhale, hit the thighs back, straighten the arms, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the right leg all the way to the sky. Noticing your shoulder, feeling that right leg lengthen the spine. Exhale, bring the right leg in between the hand. Bring your left knee on the mat. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Exhale, the left hand towards the left heel or, or calf and open the heart. So we're opening from the farm body, lift the sternum, open the heart center and pull your body to the back body. Continue to keep the right knee bent, lifting the heart. You can put a block on the left hand if you're not able to go into that back bend. Take a big breath in. Relax the face, go within. Inhale, bring yourself back up, low lunge. Exhale, bring the hands to frame the front foot. Inhale, lift the left knee off the mat. Notice your breath, push into the right big toe. Inhale, keep the right knee bent 90 degrees, reach both hands all the way up. Finding that length on the back body, soften your toes, hit the left leg back. Exhale, the hands to the mat, finding your breath. Inhale, straighten the right leg, wide pyramid pose, releasing any tension from that back, back bend. Bend the right leg. Exhale, the right leg back. Press back into your downward facing dog, mobilizing and lengthening. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, float the left leg to the sky. Noticing your breath, square the hip, shoulder away from the ears. Inhale, mindfully bring the left leg in between the hand. Lengthen, exhale the right knee on the mat. Relax the top of that right leg. Inhale, rise up into your low lunge. Finding your shoulder away from the ears. From here, the right hand reaches back, calf, ankle. Lean back, lifting the upper body. Going back and breathe. Noticing that my left knee is still bent 90 degrees. Use that right hand, massage the calf, lift the sternum. Continue to soften your toes. Continue to release the head back. Breathe in and out. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Right hand reaches all the way up. Finding that length, tuck your right toes under. Exhale, the hands down. Inhale, lift the right knee. Inhale, rise up. Crescent lunge, high lunge. Pushing into that left leg and right leg. Lengthen the spine, sinking in. Open the heart. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Frame the front foot. Look forward, lengthen. Exhale, wide-legged pyramid pose. Noticing as I round my back, as I straighten my left leg, lengthen the right leg in the back. Bend the knee. Exhale, step the left leg back. Plank. Knee, chest, and chin. Notice your breath. Inhale, coming into cobra. Still a back bend. But notice your back body. Notice in your hands, you can lift your hands. Notice in your shoulder. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, tuck the toes under, lift back into plank. Noticing how your core is working here. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Just let it go, inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, take the left leg all the way up. Noticing your shoulder away from the ears. Bend the left leg. Breathe and look through the left armpit. Making sure you are comfortable here. 
exhale, we're going to float into our floating wild thing. So bending that left leg, open the heart as the right leg is straight. Left knee is bent, open. You start to feel your back muscles. Finding the length on the left hand. Breathe in, opening the front hip. Take your time. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Inhale, bring the left leg in between the hands. Drop your right knee on the mat. Release the top of the right leg. Inhale, rise up. Open the heart. Exhale, the right hand back. Lift on up. Noticing your front body. Noticing the front hip. Lean back. Feel your shoulder away from the ears. Taking a big breath in. Exhale. Bring yourself back into low lunge. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, lift that right knee off the mat. Finding your breath. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Frame the front foot. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Hit the thighs back. Square the hip. Allow your shoulders to draw away from the ears. Bend the left leg. Exhale, take the left leg back. Downward facing. Inhale, bring yourself forward into plank. Notice your breath, knee, chest, and chin. Notice your shoulder, but notice your back body. Lifting through the sternum, finding your breath, cobra. Elbow hug in, hands underneath the shoulder. Noticing your breath, now lift your hands. Keep your legs glued to the mat. Big toes touching if you can. Exhale, bring the hands down. Neck is long. Inhale, tuck toes under. Push back into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Great work. Finding that breath. Inhale, quieting your back muscles. Lengthen the spine, pushing the thumb and index finger. Inhale, float the right leg up. Take your time. The back muscle is very separate. And allow yourself to ground through those hands and left leg. Bend the knee, turn and open the hip. As you lift, I want you to feel. You don't have to go any farther. Push into those thumb and index finger. Feel your shoulder and then exhale, floating while thin. Open, keep your breath. Keep that length and lift the right hand all the way up. If you fall, come back in. Finding your shoulder away from the ears. Taking a big breath in, finding the squeeze on that right leg. Exhale the right hand down. Inhale, bring the right leg in between the hand. Quietly. Exhale the left knee down. Inhale, low lunge, open the heart. Feel your breath. Exhale the left hand down towards that left ankle. Lean back, keep the right knee open, soften your toes, and breathe. Lifting through the sternum, shoulder away from the ears. You got it. Feel your breath once again. Feel the warmth you're creating from the back muscles. Inhale, look forward. Both hands reach up. Exhale, tuck the left toes under. Inhale, lift on up. High lunge, keeping that right knee 90 degrees, belly pulls in. Feel your back muscles. Exhale, both hands to the mat, frame the front foot. Smile, exhale, straighten the right leg. Challenging work. Lengthen the spine, look forward, pull your hip back, square the hip. Bend the right leg. Exhale, the right leg back, plank. Yogi push up, elbow hug the rib cage. Belly pulls in, back is strong. Exhale, bring yourself down. Inhale, coming into cobra. Elbow hugging the rib cage. Lift the sternum. Inhale, lift both legs up and lift the hands back. Shalabhasana. Feeling your back muscles here. Lift the legs as high as you can. Reach the hands back. Open the heart. Breathe. Exhale, bring the fingers on the mat. Lift the chest a little bit higher. Exhale, tuck toes under. Inhale, push back into plank. Exhale, downward dog. Let it go. Noticing your breath. Noticing your thumb and index finger. 
taking a big breath in, bend the knee, look between the hands, step or jump forward into chair pose. Finding your breath, bringing your thumb behind your neck. Now start to look up, another back bend. Lift through the heart center, notice your breath, see whether you can lift your chest towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, great work. Feel your breath, inhale. Exhale, bend the knee back again into chair pose. Bring the hands behind you, palm facing, lift the sternum, open the heart. Notice your heels may be coming down. And now straighten your legs and lift the heart. Open, squeeze, exhale, forward fold, let it go. Finding that breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Noticing your shoulder. Exhale, step the right leg back. Way back. Inhale, bring yourself all the way up. High lunge, look at your thumb and start to lean back. Open, continue to look at your thumb, lift the sternum, lift the chest. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Exhale, bring the right leg to meet with the left. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Feel your breath, open the back body. Allow your back to settle for a moment. Breathe in, exhale, forward fold. You can micro bend the knee. Relax the head, relax the shoulder. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the left leg back. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge, high lunge. Look at your thumb and then start to reach the thumb back. Open the heart. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands down. Pause here for a moment. Inhale, bring the left leg to me with the right. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Relax the head and shoulder. Keep the back nice and long. Relax the head. Inhale, bend the knee. Chair pose. Bring the hands behind your neck. Then inhale, lift the chest. Straighten the legs. Lean back. Push the hip forward. Exhale, take it back. Hinge from the hip. Forward fold. Great work. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, step back or jump back, chaturanga. Then that's the elbow, hug the ribcage. Breathe in. Inhale, cobra, top of the legs on the mat. Open the heart. Maybe using your fingers, done. Allow yourself to go where you're not comfortable. From here, bend the right leg. Catch the ankle. Bend the left leg, catch the ankle, flex the toes. Allow your shoulders to draw away from the ears. We're catching the outer edge of the legs. Then inhale, lift. Noticing your belly massaging the internal organ. Relax the face, lift the upper body up. Lift the legs up and squeeze towards the knee. Take a big breath in. Continue to lift, continue to draw shoulders and squeeze the legs towards each other. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, press into your cobra. Open, look, look towards the heart. Lift the heart rather than look towards the heart. Exhale, press back into plank. Notice your shoulder, or notice your back. Engage your core, bend the knee. Exhale, press into your downward dog. Let it go. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Inhale, bring the left leg in between the hand. Rise up, crescent lunge, high lunge. I love yoga because there's so much back bend in it. Finding your breath. From here, we're gonna tip forward, bring both hands to your hip. Bend the right leg, catch the instep. That's your pose. Lifting that left hand, 
Lift in the right hand. Open. We're going to exhale, bring the left hand either on a block for binded half moon. Open. Continue to work on your breath. Straighten the left leg. Your breath is more important. If you fall, come back in. Lengthening. Exhale, release the right leg back. Crescent lunge like nothing happened. Open the heart. From here, I want you to look at the thumb and start to lean back. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Bring the right leg to meet with the left. Cheer pose. Hands in namaskara behind the neck. Lift the sternum, open the heart. Maybe finding your breath, straighten the leg. Lift the sternum, open the heart. Exhale, take it back down. Forward, forward. Let it go. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. You can place your hand on the block. Flat back, notice your back body. Notice where you're feeling tension, breathe in. Inhale, take the left leg back, way back. Inhale, rise. Crescent lunge, high lunge. I want you to notice what is your body doing in this pose. You can skip any of the back bend. Exhale, bring the hands to your hip. Lean forward, inhale, bring and catch the left instep of the left leg. Dancer's pose, lift and rise. Breathe into it and breathe out. If you fall, come back in. Finding the exhalation, straighten the right leg. Lifting up. Finding your breath, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring the right hand to the block or to the mat. Bounded half moon. Continue to extend. Continue to feel your back, but don't exert any pain. Exhale, slowly release the left leg back. Inhale, rise back up, crescent lunge. Look at your thumb and start to lean back. Exhale, the hands to the mat. Finding your breath. Inhale, bring the left leg to meet with the right. Lengthen, flat back, number seven. Your body looks like seven. Breathe into the back body, push the hip back. Back is flat. Bend the knee. Chair, hands, thumb behind the neck and lift the sternum. Inhale, lift the heart. Lean forward as you bring your head back. Exhale, forward fold. Notice your breath. Maybe clasp or pose the elbow. And breathe in and breathe out, inhale, exhale, inhale, look forward, lengthen, exhale, plant the hands on the mat, step or jump back, chaturanga, dandasana, lower all the way to the mat, shalabhasana, hands reach back, fingers pointing, palm facing the earth, lift the legs, Notice your shoulder away from the ears. Breathe in, legs are together. Lift as high as you can hold. Then reach the hands forward. Interlace the thumb and in, thumb together. And then lift the upper body. Feel. Exhale, bring the hands back. Legs squeeze in. Legs straight, palm facing the earth. Inhale, reach the hands forward. Lift. Interlace the thumb, open the back body. Exhale, release the hands underneath the shoulder. Inhale, coming into your cobra. Exhale, shut it down. Child's pose. Big toes touch, hip towards the heels. Stretch out. Inhale, come into hands and knees. Finding your breath, inhale. Exhale, lift the hands all the way up. 
Exhale, bring the hands behind your lower back, fingers pointing towards the shoulder, and then push the hip forward. Notice whether kneeling is better or standing. So use your hand, push the hip forward. Notice your heart. The hip is a good way to open the heart center, the heart chakra. Then exhale, the left hand reaches down, maybe on the block. The right hand reaches towards the heel. I'm looking forward, open the front of the hip. Noticing your breath and extend the spine. Lift from the belly and the heart center and the chest. And then exhale, return similarly and take a child's pose. You can bring your hands to the block, push your hip back, knee open, lengthen. We're toning, we're building in order to elevate the back pain to relieve any tension that we're hiding on the back muscles. Take one more breath in, tuck the toes under, press into your downward facing dog. Let it go. Inhale, bring the right leg in between the hands. Draw your left knee on the mat. Inhale, reach both hands all the way up. Extend, bring the hands to your lower back. Notice your breath. So think about camel pose. Use your hand, push the hip forward. Lift, finding your shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, both hands to the mat. Find that length. Tuck the toes under, inhale, lift on up, warrior two, Vedra Bhadrasana two. Now, bring both hands all the way up, keep the warrior two and extend back. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Exhale, both hands to the mat. Drawing yourself as you square the hip. Exhale, take the right leg back, downward dog. Let it go. Inhale, bring the left leg in between the hand. Drop the right knee on the mat. Inhale, both hands switch up. Then exhale, bring the hands to your lower back. Lift the chest and push your hip forward. You can relax the top of that leg, lift the heart. Noticing your left leg, lift the chest once more. Breathe in, don't force anything. Inhale, bring your gaze forward, hands reach up, finding that length. Open up warrior two as the right leg comes into 60 degrees. Make sure you're not slipping and sliding. Finding your breath. This time, left hand goes back, right hand reaches back. Maybe head back, hands back. Out of your breath. Inhale, come back. Warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Great work. Take the left leg back. Downward facing dog. Let it go. Inhale, forward into plank. Yogi push up. Strong back, strong core. Exhale, down. Bring your forearm on the mat. Open the heart. Lifting the chest in between your triceps out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Exhale, relax the neck, look towards the front of the mat, tuck toes under, forearm plank. Shoulder back. Breathe into that strength. Bring the left hand, run parallel to the mat. Stack the right leg on top of the left. Inhale, right hand up. Floating while thin variation. You can catch the right leg. Feel your breath. Exhale, bring your right forearm back on the mat. Then inhale, lift the chest. Open the sternum. Relax the face. Relax the shoulder. And smile. This is quite challenging. Run your right forearm on the mat. Lift the hip, lift the legs. And then over to the right side. Left hand up. 
Exhale, modify while thin. Catch the left ankle and lift the chest. Push into the right forearm and lift your front body. Exhale, back into forearm plank. Exhale, spinster's pose. Open the heart. Exhale, push into the forearm. Exhale, bring your knee down. Inhale, come back into camel pose, hands stretch up. Exhale, push the hip forward. Exhale, maybe reach the hands towards the heels. Lift the sternum. Notice your breath has it change. You might feel a lot of emotions here. Just make sure you're breathing. Letting go, being present. Inhale, both hands reach up. Exhale, take it into your child's pose. Let it go. Inhale, bring yourself into tabletop. Exhale, tuck the toes under. Push back into floating table. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Taking a big breath in, bring your left leg in, that way the heels out on the mat. Take the right leg up, and then bend the right leg. Push into the right hand, walk your left hand towards your right foot. We're gonna catch that right leg. And, and as you fall, as I fall, just being mindful to come back in. Push into the right hand equally on the right leg. Not only this is a great back bend, Feel your quad. Notice your breath. Exhale, bring the right hand down. And then float that right leg into wild thin. Open the heart. Feel your back body. Lift the chest. Relax the shoulder. Push into that left thumb and index finger. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, take the right leg up. Three-legged dog. Finding your breath. Exhale, really keep the right leg bent and then lean forward, finding your cobra with the right leg bent. Finding your shoulder away from the ears. Exhale, straighten the right leg. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. I want you to let it go. Breathe into the back muscles here. Find the length, find the breath. Inhale, take the left leg up. First walk your right leg in, take the left leg up. Bend the knee, you don't have to go any farther. Maybe you're feeling on your back. Then walk your right hand towards the right foot. Push into your left thumb and index finger. Catch your left ankle. Not only is the balancing pose, is equally a back bend, a quad opener. Relax the shoulder, work on your breath, inhale. Exhale, release the right hand. And then take it into your wild thing. Lift the chest, maybe both knees bent or one leg is straight. Lift the heart. Notice your back body, lift the head. Lift the heart. Breathe, noticing your shoulder here. Yeah? Lengthen the spine. Finding your breath. Exhale, the left hand down. Inhale, take the left leg up. Finding your shoulder once again. Lengthening and squaring the hip. Exhale, coming in back into three-legged plank. Finding your breath, lower your hip on the mat. Keep the left knee bent. Open the heart, head back. Exhale, release the left foot on the mat, finding yourself in upward facing. Downward facing. Noticing your back muscles here. Exhale, release on the mat. Child's pose, it's a challenging pose. Inhale, bring yourself back up into those hands and knees, tabletop. 
Noticing your breath. Inhale, exhale. Bend the knee, tuck your toes under, and lift into your floating table. Not only we work on our back muscles, we also work on our core. Exhale, straighten the legs, downward dog. Bend the knee, look to the outside of the hand, jump forward into Malasana, and bring the hands in Namaskara. Taking a big breath in, we lower, we reach the hands forward, we lower our hip on the mat. Then inhale, keep the knee bent. Maybe you catch with your peace finger to your big toes. Then inhale, lift. So not only that this pose works on the, the navel, shoulder, but you also get strength in the back muscles. Bodies upright, straighten the legs if you have it. Taking a big breath in and a big breath out. Allowing your shoulders the opportunity, allowing the hamstring the opportunity. Breathe in and then bring the legs on the mat. Flat the hands behind you, then inhale, lift from the front body, reverse table. Notice your breath. Notice your shoulder. Exhale, lower your hip on the mat. And then bring your right ankle, lean back, and bring your right ankle on top of the left. Open the hip. Shoulder away from the ears. Push into your hands. Inhale, lift into a broken table. Modified table. Feel your hip, now feel your back, feel your triceps. Now from here, I want you to take the right leg all the way up. Push into those thumb and index finger. Lengthen, bring your right ankle on top of the left and lift. Exhale the right leg down. Now inhale, take it into reverse plank and push into your big toes open. More you straighten your legs, more you make your room for that reverse plank. Triceps engaged, thumb and index finger, big toes touching the mat. Bend the knee, coming back into that table. Exhale, lower your hip on the mat. Bring your forearm on the mat. Great work, everybody. Allow yourself to release completely here. Bring your left ankle, flex the right leg. So it's a great way to do a reclining pigeon. Breathe in. Then inhale when you're ready, push into your hands and lift. So notice your breath. We did this pose in my other one hour class for hip and hamstring. But check in, how is the back working here? From here, we're gonna inhale, take the left leg up. I want you to notice your breath, point toes, lift into those thumb and index finger, triceps engage, back body engage. Exhale, left ankle on top of the right. Lift, heart, open. Exhale, take the left leg forward, reverse plank. How are you doing? Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, bring the sole of the feet together. This time, push your fingers back, lift the chest. Open the knee. Then inhale, lift the hip. Head back, maybe. Feel your shoulder, feel your fingers, thumb and index finger. Exhale, lower your hip down. Inhale, start to reach your hands forward. Roll your back into the mat and release the back. And then from here, bring the legs in and reach your legs all the way to the sky. Notice your breath, inhale, stay here. Exhale, let it go. We want to let the back settle on the mat. Shoulder away from the ears. Allow the dust to settle. Plant the foot on the mat. Now, if you don't have your bridge for any number of reasons, we're going to do a lot of bridge here. We work a lot of in our back. Grab two block. You keep the legs bent, first release, and make sure you can catch your ankle. Just, you know, just scratch with the middle finger. Once you have done that, Legs are about hip distance apart. If you have a resistant band, put the resistant band. That way you're not flaring your knee open or a strap. So from here, inhale, grab your two block, lift the hip, and then bring the two block 
underneath your lower back. So this is a very reclining pose. Think about when we did our break, our camel pose, camel pose, Ustrasana in Sanskrit. Now you're going to reach your hands and interlace the hand around the block, finding your breath, drawing the shoulder, allowing the back to go with it. Now, if you feel like this is not opening the front hip, because it's also a great hip opener, keeping your legs hip distance apart. So when you reach towards your knee, your hips are towards each other as opposed to open. Yeah. We want to maintain the integrity of the lower back. We don't want to injure the lower back. If you further to go, maybe you lift and you can place your hand on top of the block. Again, increasing the height. If you have an extra block, you can lift a little bit higher and put the block, but being mindful that the block is not wobbly. Again, keep the hips square. Notice I have lifted the block a little bit higher. Similarly, you can use your hand. Allowing your back to open, allowing your chest to open. Breathe in and out, maybe still interlacing the hand. Finding your breath. Now, for those of you that don't have a block, I'll take out the block and show without the block. You can bring your hands underneath your back, palm facing your back, finding your breath. If you farther to go, you can lift the right leg up. Again, for those of you that have a block, lift your right leg up and then point your right foot forward. I want you to notice your breath. Breath, take the right leg up, point toes, flex toes. Exhale, right foot down. Leg straight. Inhale, right leg up. The good thing about yoga is you have more time to do it. Two more times. Inhale, left. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, left. Exhale, right leg down. Lower your hip on the mat. Take Sutta Bodhi Kanasana. Bring the back on the mat to stabilize. And then open the hip. You can place the block on your inner thigh. Adding a little bit of weight to remind your back to settle. It's okay. We have the left side to do. So work on your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Audible breath. Now inhale. Sweep the legs together. Again, the block can come to one side. Then inhale left. Run your hands underneath you, palm facing. Think about your camel pose. Push into your right big toe. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Just allow your back to settle, noticing any, any difference, yeah? Bringing your left foot forward. Notice the front of the hip, the back muscle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch out through the quads and the hamstring. Inhale, lift. You got it. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, lift. How is your wrist? Exhale, straighten. Inhale, left. Point toes, flex toes. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, left. Exhale, straighten. Bend knee. Stay here. Exhale, lower down completely on the mat. Take Sutta Bodhi Kanasa. Notice your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale from here. Notice your breath. Notice any change. Bend the knee for those of you who don't have a wheel pose. I want you to repeat bridge without a block or no hands. For those of you that have a wheel pose, you bring the hands towards the ears. Let your fingers point towards the shoulder. Then push into your hand. Bring the crown of the head on the mat. That's it. Don't have to go any farther. So we're going to do this three more times. So just lifting, bringing maybe your forearm on the mat, squeezing up. This is one part of the wheel. Squeezing your bum seat, seeing whether you can lift the chest. That's all you got to do. Exhale, lower down. We got two more. Fingers towards your ears. Notice as I push my hand into the mat, my shoulders wants to lift. 
we're going to flip the head, the crown of the head, make contact with the mat, push into the hand, lift the bum, C, lift the back, then push into the hand, see whether you can straighten the arms. One, breathe. Two, hug your midline, squeeze your bum as if you're lifting your chest towards the back of the breath. Notice the tightness, any tightness. I want you to breathe. Straighten your arm, push into the thumb and index finger. Then exhale, yeah? Preparing for the exit. Bring the head first on the mat, elbow is bent. Flip the head, back of the neck on the mat, and release completely. Just stay here. Don't hug the knee yet. I know that's where you want to go. We want to let the back know that it's okay. Third time, and the final one. We're going to hold a little bit longer. Hands underneath your shoulder. You can do option one, flip the head, crown of the head on the mat. You can stay here on the forearm, working on your back muscles to lift. You can even rock back and forth. Option two, you push into those hands, and then push and lift the head, straighten the arm. Option three and four and five, maybe straighten the legs, and cross one leg in front of the other, feeling your back muscles. So if you cross one leg, make sure you cross the other. Finding your back bus muscles, feeling your breath. Are you able to have a conversation here? Are you able to find your breath? Exhale, lower back down. First, cut, come to the head and then reach the hands towards the ankle. Noticing when we did the boat, boat, boat pose, B-O-W pose, or the boat pose, Navasana. Is there any difference? Breathe into the back muscles. I'm catching my ankle, feeling that length on the back muscles, keeping the legs hip distance apart. Eyes is open, lift the sternum. Exhale, bring the hands back on the ears towards the head. Lift the head back of the neck on the mat and lower down. Keep the back on the mat. Just don't move. One hand on top of the belly. One hand in front of the belly. Allow yourself to catch up with your breath. Just allow your back to make contact with the mat. This is so important. I love a back bend, but it's quite challenging because you feel your heart, you feel all these emotions rise. But I want you to accept those emotions and breathe in. Keep the ones that serve you and release the ones that no longer serve you. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to laugh, laugh. There is no sadness in the cry. The cry is a sign of relief. Laughter is a sign of, I'm here, I'm present, acceptance. We're gonna go more into these poses. Keep the left leg bent, bring the right ankle on top of the left. Push into those hands, lift the hip. You can similarly bring a block, lift, or you can bring your hands. If you don't have any block, use your hands. Allow yourself to enjoy a great back bend, but also feel the mobility on the head. Especially if you're suffering from sciatic problem. Taking a big breath in, we're gonna play with the shoulder stance, but a supported shoulder stance. The back of the neck is on the mat, take the right leg up. Straighten the right leg, lift the left leg up mindfully. Now, your back is still working here. You can point toes, you can keep those legs straight. Feel up, exhale out. We're gonna bend the knee, start to lower your toes, but keep your hands on your back. And notice your breath. Notice my toes are the only thing touching. Breathe in, breathe out. Lower your legs on the mat. Inhale, lift the left leg up. If you need to take a break, do so. Point toes, flex toes, 
bring the left ankle on top of the right. Just allow yourself the opportunity to open, put a block. Use this opportunity to massage the glutes, the bum seat, the back body. Take that left leg up, adjust your hand, and then lift the right leg up. Modify shoulder stance. You can lift high and flip your hand and come into your shoulder stance. Equally, you say shoulder, but it's equally using your back. Wherever you are, remind yourself you're breathing. You can flip your hand once again. Use your left leg to land softly. And then bring your right foot. Release the hands, give your hand a break. And then reach the hands overhead. Feel the length in your spine. Breathe in, squeeze those bumps up. As you exhale, use your hand like you're pumping balloon, but this time exhaling out. Inhale, reach the hands up, lift the hip. Exhale, lower the hands down. Inhale, lift. Think about you're in Disney. You're going for that ride. You're reaching the hands up. Exhale. Now, inhale, straighten the right leg. Bring the left leg in, hug in, squeeze in. Pass your rib cage. Finding your breath. Interlace the hand over that left foot. Keep the right leg straight. Straighten your left leg. Hamstring lover. You can put a strap on the ball of that left foot. Straighten that left leg a little bit more. So, but as the back is making contact with the mat, Checking with your hamstring. Now you're going to lift the head, open the elbows and shoulder. Feel your back making contact with the mat. Straighten the right leg, right toes pointing. Exhale. Bring that left knee in towards the forehead. Find that length. Open the hip. Exhale. Lower the left leg on the mat. Bend the right leg. Straighten the left leg. Inhale. Catch. Pass the ankle. Flex the left leg. Toes pointing towards the sky. Catch. Use your right hand. Left hand. You're catching the ball of that foot. You can stay here. Continue to open the hip. But your lower back is making contact with the mat. Then inhale, straighten the right leg. Maybe it's not available here. Put a strap on the ball of the right foot. More make contact with the back of the mat on the mat. Then inhale, lift the head, chest, shoulder. And then maybe the right leg makes contact with the forehead. Open the elbow, open the shoulder. Back is making contact. There's a little massage there. Exhale, release the head. Bend the knee. Bring your forehead to your knee. Notice your shoulder. Feel your back. Exhale, release the head on the mat. Straighten the leg. Now, from here, bring the hands underneath your bum seat for fish pose. Straighten your legs. Inhale, lift the heart. The head comes onto the mat. And breathe. Elbow bend, forearm on the mat. Think about the spinster's pose. The crown of the head on the mat. Legs can be straight, pointed toes, or flexed toes. How do you feel in each one? Lift the sternum. Inhale, lift the head. 
Exhale, bring the head on the mat. This time, release the hands. You're comfortable. Hands reach up. Maybe release the index finger. Inhale, lift the legs up. Kingfish. Exhale, release the legs on the mat. And then keep the head on the mat. Open. Notice your upper body. Notice the strength. Lift the heart. Exhale, pull on your hip. Release the head. Back remains contact with the mat. From here, we're going to reach the hands, interlace the thumb and index finger. Back makes contact, head lift, and point your toes. Boat pose, low boat. Exhale, hug your knee in. Head on the mat. Again, low boat. Head and shoulder off the mat. Exhale, squeeze your knee together. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, squeeze. From here, start to massage the back, side to side. And then last time, low boat, head, shoulder, neck, point toes, look at the toes. Exhale, squeeze. Great work. From here, rock forward and back. A couple of times, this time front and back. Front and back. And come back to seated. And then bring the left ankle on top of the right. And then take the right leg back. Finding the upper back again, once again. We're going to reach towards that right leg. Notice I catch my inside of my right hand. Right hand into that right foot. Notice your breath. Keep the left hand towards that left hip. Flip your hand if you can, and then catch as if it's like a backpack, and then bring your head towards your head. Continue to work on your breath. You can bring the left hand and catch. Exhale, release. Noticing your shoulder away from the ears. From here, change the left foot and then bring the right leg forward. Left knee bent, right leg forward. Take the left leg back, low lunge. Noticing your breath. Exhale, bring the hands down into your lizard pose forearm on the mat noticing your breath option to run your left hand on the mat right hand reach back catch that left foot open noticing the emphasis on the back lift the heart Exhale, bring the right hand down. Take the right leg back. All fours. Tuck toes under. Mobilize the hip, downward dog. Bring the right leg parallel to the mat. Stay here. Use your right hand. Flex the le right leg. Open the heart. Notice your shoulder away from the ears. Then exhale, we're going to push into that right hand, right hip. Bend the left leg, catch from the inside. You don't have to go any further. You can just use that left hand, bring your left hip. If you're further to go, you're going to flip the hand. Elbow points to the sky. 
head towards your toes. If you fall that to go, right hand is going to come and catch. Exhale, release the hands on the mat. I want you to notice your breath. And then find your shoulder away from your ears. Roll in. Bring in that right leg back. Left foot forward. Take the right leg all the way back. Open into your lizard pose. You can bring to your forearm. You can stay on the hand. Just breathe in. From here, the left hand is going to reach back. The left hand is going to, left leg, right leg is going to bend. And then maybe say good day. You bring your right forearm on the mat. Just listen to your body. Open the shoulder. Feel that length on the spine. And breathe. Exhale, release the left hand on the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, this time bring the left leg back, tabletop. And exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, bring your forearm on the mat. Relax the head now. Noticing your shoulder, walk your legs in. And breathe in. We're going to attempt a scorpion pose. Start to lift the right leg up, left leg up. Maybe you stack and bend the knee. You don't have to go to the full expression and work on your back muscles. This is the challenging one. Push into this forearm. If you come out, come back in. Notice your breath. You fall, fall into wheel pose. Even I find it hard. Try again, maybe using a block. Exhale, release. Take a child's pose. You did a lot of work here. And then slowly lay on your back. You did a lot of work and allow your back to make contact with the mat. Close your eyes, Shavasana, final relaxation. Keep your knee bent. Allow yourself to go within. An option to bring a block underneath your chest to really allow yourself to lengthen. You can bring one hand in front of the groin and the other, elbow open, close the eyes. Breathe normal. Let your toes relax, face relax. Just be comfortable, put a blanket. If you're feeling a little cold, like I said, you can put a bolster underneath your knee if you have one, or a pillow. Just notice your heart, notice the emotions that have come up during this practice. What is serving you? If it's serving you, keep it. If it's not serving you, exhale, let it go. Let go of the past. Stay present. The future hasn't happened yet. So come back to the present. 
Breathe in and out. Check in. First, allow yourself to express gratitude to your body for moving, dancing, and exhale, release. Now, allow yourself the permission to go inward. Once you've given yourself the permission, I want you also to give your permission to forgive yourself if you fall out of a push, noticing any emotions that came up that wasn't of service. Just forgive yourself, let it go. Now, the next option is to accept where you are in your, your journey of yoga practice. Allowing and breathing. Quiet in your toes, your fingers. When you're ready, bring the legs together. If you had a block or pillow, take it off. And then reach the hands overhead. Lengthen. Back is on the mat as much as you can. Exhale, hug your knee in. Squeeze in. Roll over to the right side. Fetal position. Inhale, press yourself using the left hand. Bring yourself to seated. Maybe the right leg, maybe the left leg. Easy pose. Hands on top of the knee. Palms open or close. Palms come in front of the heart. Not only is it a symbol of gratitude, it's also a greeting. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of us. Thank you for joining me in today's practice. I hope you enjoyed. It's a back bend. Your back might be a bit sore. But allow yourself to drink water because we lost a lot of sweat in the form of water. But allow yourself to be still for some time. Just allow the shift to happen. The light in me, almost the light in each and every one. Now, if you made it this far, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, let me know what you would like to see in the next one. My name is Beth. Thank you for all of you that have joined the Patreon, that have also sent me a one-time PayPal or Cash App. It does help in creating a quality video, especially those one hours. It takes a lot of space. So, I want to thank you. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. I read all comments. I reply to all comments. So let me know how you get on. If you'd like to follow me on the socials, I have a Facebook group where you can also send me a personal message. I have an Instagram where I also post motivational quotes as well as breakdowns of each asana. So tag me. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see all of you soon in the next one. Thank you. Namaste.